China, Taiwan, and the $550 billion industry that underpins all of our tech. What's going on? I'm talking about semiconductors, which again found themselves at the heart of geopolitical turmoil in October. It started with the US massively restricting the ability of Chinese chip makers to buy technology abroad, particularly the gear they need to make the chips themselves. Yes, semiconductors help run our iPhones and cars, but they're also used in missile systems and next generation fighter jets. At the moment, China has to import most of its chips, many from Taiwan. The island, just 100 miles off the Chinese mainland, has its own democratically elected government and considers itself an independent nation. But China and its leader Xi Jinping don't. And at the Communist Party Congress in Beijing, Xi raised the temperature on the possibility of seizing Taiwan. But what would that mean for the chip makers? Leading Taiwanese chip maker TSMC has warned that uh, should China try to take it by force, it will not be able to uh, continue operations normally because it needs support from uh, foreign suppliers. Company executives have said that they are more concerned with uh, other human costs that uh, a war might inflict. That's one reason why the US just allocated $50 billion to bolster its domestic chip-making capabilities, to reduce its own dependence on Taiwan and other nations. 